here in El Salvador, San Salvador, at the Adopting Bitcoin 2023. Yes. My friend here, we first met in um, Michigan. Yeah, Michigan back in August. That feels like forever ago. <laughs> but anyway, um, here we are. So, Chimbar, thank you for joining me. Um, you know, I, hopefully people know who you are, what you're doing down here. But I just got to say, as you know, I've told you before, I'm loving it down here. My first two days here, it, it's, it's awesome to... It, it, to land in country and then like within five hours or whatever we're we're at dinner together with a whole bunch of you know bitcoiners just in el zante at bitcoin beach like with a giant tomahawk anyway great memory but um yeah so how are you feeling about the conference how are you feeling about bitcoin adoption what's the last year been like amazing and thank you for being here when i meet you in michigan in back in august i told you you would love it you know because i think like uh, every Bitcoiner like that and, 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 and I think like you touch a lot about like the finance aspect of Bitcoin in your podcast or in tweets, you know, yeah. but like, you know, when you talk about this technology, money, how Bitcoin can change the world and can change the, the life of people. So when you come to El Salvador is when you realize and you say like, wow, it's happening, you know, and super amazing super exciting for adopting bitcoin to see people from all over the world coming here flying in having fun eating meat surfing you know this is like the this is how the land the new land of opportunities look like you know yeah. so exciting yeah that's great so obviously it's not like El Salvador is a Bitcoin utopia, right? Not everyone uses Bitcoin. A lot more people do than in the States. I mean, you know, I, I walk around, and I see little Bitcoin signs everywhere, right? So what do you think El Salvador is leading the world in? Obviously legal tender and everything like that, but on a community basis, what do you think El Salvador is leapfrogging the rest of the world in? And what do you think the greatest need is going from here? Well, look, look, um, sometimes like the, as a human, and I was talking today about this, that everyone expecting that because El Salvador decided to adopt in Bitcoin, everyone will start to use in Bitcoin yeah. straight away. But here we're talking like Bitcoin become a legal tender only two years ago, yeah. you know? And I always say like, if you stop like a, a random people here at the conference, a Bitcoiner and ask this question, like when was the first time that you hear about Bitcoin for the first time? And how long it take it took you to get to the point that you understand Bitcoin and you buy your first portion of Bitcoin? And a few people will answer this question and say, "Oh, it took me one month. It took me one week." But the majority of the people are talking years. about years. Years, yeah. you know. So here, the real question is like, I hope so. The Salvadoran people will not talk that long, you know. <laughs> and but. Um, why El Salvador is leading the way? This year, uh, it happened something really historical in, in El Salvador. People are not talking about a lot about this, but that was a, be a huge step, you know? Um, Bitcoin Beach and my first Bitcoin, we partnering with the Minister of Education to do the first pilot. What that means, we teach the first 150 teachers from the public schools about Bitcoin, you know? They receive the ABC of Bitcoin and then these 150 teachers back to their schools and replicate what, they, what they're learning. In total, I think they're covering around more than 2,500 students from the public schools. 150 teachers you know and this was the first pilot with the idea we're talking that maybe next year we need to sit now with the minister of education and see what it works what it didn't work and make the plan i hope so this is going to be rolled out next year in all the public schools so when you say when people complain about yeah. Bitcoin, when people complain about the Bitcoin adoption and say, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's moving slow, it's not everyone is using Bitcoin, because they didn't know that almost four years ago, that was one merchant that the second Bitcoin payments in yeah. El Salvador when we started the project in Bitcoin Beach in 2019. So from being from one merchant accepting Bitcoin payments before the law, before Bitcoin become a legal tender, 
We're here in Bitcoin country. What else? <laughs> What else? What other countries doing yeah. what El Salvador is doing in terms of Bitcoin, you know? Bitcoin education, companies, new products, new service, real estate, you know? Some of the things that you don't see, yep. I, I have a real estate company mm -hmm. and I meet with people every week that came to El Salvador and they're looking to buy land here. I, I've, I've met some of them, so, you know, our, our, so, our mutual friend is one of them, right? <laughs> so those are the things that uh -huh. you don't see yeah. in media yeah. that Bloomberg doesn't cover, yeah. right? They're they, just... they, they only care about the survey percentages. What does the survey percentage say, you know? And, and I, I, I always talk about that with, with everything, right? You know, like inflation rate, it's not the linear amount that matters. It's the exponential trend, right? Exactly. It's not... 2% to 4%, oh, that went up 2%. No, that's a doubling, right? And the same way, going from one merchant to, what are we at now, a thousand merchants, more than a thousand merchants? Like, it's so funny when you see Bloomberg, Bloomberg say, only 20% of the merchants in El Salvador are accepting Bitcoin payment. Yeah. 20%, only 20%. Yeah. 20% in one country in just two years. That's a lot. Tell me yeah. another country that is doing better. Yeah. Doesn't exist. Yeah. Here, is a dream. I know a lot of Bitcoiners that are living here in El Salvador, that are, that are living in the Bitcoin standard. Tell me another place that you can live in the Bitcoin standard. When I say living in the Bitcoin standard, you pay everything with Bitcoin. If you want, you can pay your house, food, electricity bill, phones bill, salaries. It's possible, but like for us in Bitcoin Beach, it took almost three years, three years and a half to yeah. be where we are. El Salvador as a country is going to take, it's going to take more time. But here the question is, it's working. Yeah, it's working. We're moving forward. Look, <laughs> so don't worry about it. People don't worry about it. Bitcoin is working, you know, yeah. Bitcoin works, yeah. Lightning Network works. But it's also like when you see a lot of Bitcoiners that are Bitcoiners, but you people come to El Salvador and say, I never used Lightning before. It's so fast, you know. So yeah. that's that's can tell you how early we are. Yeah. And I'm super exciting, you know, when people like Jack Darcy saying a lot of things that we're gonna use in the future are built now in El Salvador. El Salvador is leading this new financial revolution, and it feel we're just the smaller country in America, you know. But a lot of people want to come and support this, and it's happening, you know? Yeah, yeah I, I fully agree with that. It's all about the rate of exponential change, and the change here, obviously this is my first time, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but obviously you lived here, and many other people live here for many years, and every person I talk to talks about how, how much has changed. And you know, I'm from America, so we always talk about, wow, the world is so different. We're always like, it's so much worse than it was three years ago, yeah. right? But when people talk about change here, they're always like, it's so much safer, and, and this is so much better, and that's so much different, and these people, and so everyone I've talked to here is saying, the change is accelerating here in the and, positive direction. And let me ask you one question. Yeah. How you feel this energy here in El Salvador? Like, this, did you feel this positive energy? Did you feel this hope that people feel it? Or is something that you don't feel it when you came, when you arrived here to El Salvador? Yeah, I, yeah, I feel it. I, I, I mean, I, I want to be careful because I'm, you know, biased, obviously, I'm around Bitcoiners. I think Bitcoiners are much more optimistic as a group yeah, of people. that's true. But, I mean, you know, just, just being around, you know, and, and I've met a few locals here, you know, I, at breakfast, I met a couple guys here, you know, or, you know, so I've met people the last few days, and, you know, they ask you what I'm doing because, you know, someone... It's like me here is not exactly normal, right? But, um, you know, they ask what I'm doing here, Bitcoin, you know, and they're amazed, you know, multiple of them have commented how they're amazed I'd come from America to here just for just for Bitcoin, just for conference, just for this week, right? And so I think th the fact that they're seeing people like me and many other people who are coming here for this and having this passion here is something that fills them with hope. They're like, oh, wow, they want to come here. Yeah. And then simultaneously, they're much more curious when it comes to Bitcoin. I've not met anyone. I met a lot of people that are new to Bitcoin, trying to figure it out. I've been bringing people into the conference that are just, you know, in the lobby or whatever, right? And it's like, they're all curious. They want to hear more about it. So I, I think it's definitely a different perspective. And shift. you know, as a Bitcoiner, we have a famous say, 
don't trust verify yeah so this is the this is these have to be the message you know don't trust verify come and check but don't talk to bitcoiners like you say talk to the uh, talk yeah. to the normal people in El Salvador yeah come and ask questions how they feel yeah come and say hey did you feel better now in El Salvador now we were talking in 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 a panel where when I was a kid the dream was to leave the country mm. and now we have Ismael that is the next generation after me and he's like he just was in the USA working for four months yeah. and he's like I don't want to live there yeah. my future is here you yeah. know and when you see the next generation thinking in that way that true and show that our country is moving in the right line you know because it's not just one person talking about this it's like Many, many, many. Yeah. So, I, I, the message is like, guys, you will hear a lot about El Salvador from many people. A lot of people complain and the media lie, but don't trust, verify, come and check, you know, and then have your own conclusion. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely feel that different shift here because I, I, I just talked about this in my, in my little presentation I made, but in the past, you know, Americans, we make the dollars, you use the dollars. And so the incentive here, even though most people living here couldn't put their finger on it, the incentive is get as close to the money printer as possible. Get as close to the American funnel of currency. And now that there's this Bitcoin thing, oh wait, that's no longer the incentive. And so now they're incentivized to be here. They're incentivized to build for the children and build for the future. So, hey, thanks for building. I love it. Uh, everything I do, I love. I would love to think that it's impacting you and your mission. Likewise, you're impacting me and my future and kids and everything. So. And that's the beauty about Bitcoin. Bitcoin yeah. is, is you know, some people are in the front line, some people are in the back, in the back end. Yeah. But Bitcoin is a collective dream. Bitcoin is inclusion, and I think it's beautiful to see different individuals working yeah. in different ways but yeah. trying to fix the problems that exist now because the reality is that things are working now but for a few people yeah. not for everyone yeah. so i think el salvador will show and prove that technology can change this country that having a great leader doing the right things for the people can transform our country. And this is where we're living now. So thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you should think about coming because I, I really do think that if you are passionate about Bitcoin, want to accelerate it, like consider coming here because number one, it's good for you and that you enjoy it and that you get that life experience and you see what I would argue is a historical moment here, but then simultaneously bring your political currency here, spend it here, spend your Bitcoin here and incentivize the economy, bring that attention. So anyway, thanks for your time. Thank you. Yep, yeah, really appreciate yeah. it. So, Thank you. Yeah. Bitcoin is incredible and it's incredibly important, which is why it means a lot that you're watching this video and you're taking the time. I do this because I believe it is a really, really important innovation that we've discovered a way to not have a single point of failure at global base layer money. See, fiat money, political currency units, and gold, all other forms of money up to this point in history have had a single point of failure. This has been the largest monetary problem in human history for the last 4,000 years. And now we have Bitcoin, and Bitcoin solves that single point of failure problem. And now, therefore, we have a new single point of failure problem, and that is how do we custody and store that Bitcoin properly for the long term in a safe and secure way that brings peace of mind. That's why I work at the Bitcoin Advisor. If you were to be hit by a bus, does your spouse, do your kids, do your loved ones and beneficiaries know how to access your Bitcoin? Do you have a proper self-custody storage method to where there is no single point of failure? Not from yourself, not from your seed device, not from where your seed phrase is stored. Have you considered these questions? Have you gotten your UTXOs managed? Do you have jurisdictional arbitrage? Have you considered all the trust, taxes, and estate planning requirements that are associated with becoming a high net worth person? Because if you are buying Bitcoin right now, you are going to become a high net worth person. Are you prepared for the amount of Bitcoin you have to skyrocket in value 2x, 5x, 10x, or 100x eventually? That's the time horizon you should have, and so you need to be preparing today for that future. How are you going to custody your Bitcoin? How are you going to lead that Bitcoin for your future generations? Because after all, that's what we do this for, right? You're buying Bitcoin for your kids. You're buying it for your grandkids. And so I highly recommend you start thinking in those long-term time periods now, because companies are coming, charities are coming, high net worth individuals are coming, and all of them are going to realize that having an allocation to a multi-sig uh, collateral custody vault is going to be something that is of serious consideration for them. So 
once you understand Bitcoin is a beautiful innovation for not having a single point of fa failure at the base layer currency, now you have to start seriously considering how do I have my custody stored where there is no single point of failure. Okay, if you want to learn more about that, please click the link in the description. I have dozens of pages of free educational content for you and videos. I'm happy to help in that free way. And then if you want individual help, I'm also happy to help you join the Bitcoin Advisor where you can be an ongoing client. You can become one of my clients and I'd be happy to help you in the years to come to make sure your Bitcoin's protected to where no matter what, no matter if thieves or scammers or spammers or yourself or your family or whoever, no matter whether it's due to theft or loss, misallocation, misplacement, or just uh, other mistakes, I'm happy to help you and be that voice of reason in the coming years ahead. So click the link in the description. I'd be happy to help. Check it out. Thanks.